You just keep recessing it in. Remember, we're going to go back over some more uh, gray mixture here in just a little bit, but we're just trying to get this buried back underneath while we got our tape on here so we don't get all this back on top of what we already got. Remember, the more candy you put on there, the darker it gets. We'll go back in with our gray mixture and get some highlights here in just a second. Got our gray mixture mixed up again in another airbrush and I'm going to go back and do what is called some highlights or hot spots. We're just going to make it a little bit brighter. So we'll just put our stencil back where we want it. Just lightly airbrush that. As you can see it creates a hot spot. We'll just put it right back in the same spot again. Do the same thing. You just want to do this in a couple spots. What that does is just kind of accent it and highlights it, makes the flame pop just a little bit more. And we'll leave this right here. You can see the difference from this one to this one. This one just has blue candy over it. And as you go back up, as you pan back across, this one has the white highlights. That's the difference between just doing blue candy versus your highlights. As you can see, we're just kind of highlighting here and there, just like we did the other one. Now the reason we're doing this video is we get asked thousands of times, you know, how to, how to do a chameleon flame, how to do a metallic flame, how to do it on white, how to do it on red. Well, this realistic flame that we're doing right here is what we call a twisted flame. Now we got a new video coming out, it's called Smoking Gun 5, all fired up. It has nine different techniques coming out showing you how to do different types of flames on different kinds of bases. There's not just one style of flame that I do, I do a variety of flames. There's not. If you, if you look at this flame and you compare it to another flame we got in our video, it's called the Fat Boy Flame. Totally different style, but still the same kind of techniques, same kind of patterns. It's all the general idea, but we're just giving you the basic tools to do this. Go ahead and peel this back right here so you can kind of see how it rolls under. So you can see from the white contrast going to where the flame's at. I'm going to lay this back in there because we still got to put the blue candy on it, but I just wanted to be able to show you the difference there. As you notice, I'm just kind of layering it here. For one small, I'll kind of go back in and, and highlight a couple areas or make them a little bit brighter than the rest of them. I don't outline every single flame that I do. You'll notice that some of them got a hard edge like in here and some are soft and then some I won't even outline. It's just, I don't know, it's just the way I do it. It's not whether it's right or it's wrong, it's my style and how I, I teach to do it. I've seen it done other ways and I, I like other ways also. I just know this looks really cool when it's all said and done. Adding our blue candy one more time. We'll go back in and uh, highlight it with our gray mixture one more time, just like we did the other side. We're just kind of filling it in right now. Now we're going to add more up here also, but uh, that's after we take our tape off and we're going to crisscross them back and forth.
Come here, I want to show you a mistake. I mask this off right here. If you don't mask exactly on that line right there and you spray it, you're going to get that hard white line. You don't want it to look like that. You want it to look like this right here. So to fix my mistake, we're going to go ahead and carry this flame over top of the flame because we're going to have some go over and some under, but that's what you don't want. And yes, I do make mistakes. Made one last year. You're still going to see that a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, blue candy over it and then I'll highlight some and it'll kill that white spot. Go back in, make a couple highlights, little hot spots, and it'll all be gone. There you fixed it. We mask off our flame right here, so now we're going to go ahead and carry it under. Just bring it right back across. Have the appearance that this, this part of the flame actually went underneath. Go back across again. We'll put our candy blue back on it here in just a second and then do our highlights. This process takes a while to do it this way because you can't really see the flame. If there was a contrast between the colors, this would be a lot easier to see, but you can't as you're crossing it over. So when we bring the flame around here, this goes under and back and forth. Like we went under here, came back up, and then we're back under here. Now I'm going to make one flame lick. Actually, I'll pull this up right here and I'll make one go back across the top. In fact, we can do that while we got it off there. Kind of what I'm doing is I'll put my, my stencil right where I want and I'll, I'll put my airbrush where it's hitting right here and I'll pull it out this way, which gives it kind of a frosted look. So I just highlights it right in that one spot. That's what I'm going for. You notice when I'm doing these flames, I'll kind of make them move in and out. They almost have like an S shape. It really kind of gives it movement to the flame. And that's what we're going for in this, this actual design here.